hello everyone so today we are still looking at vibrations and waves and to be specific today we are looking at waves and um, under waves we look at the phase difference the intensity and interference so the most important thing that you need to understand is just the definition of the wave once you just understand that then all other things will just be following because you'll be knowing whatever that you you'll be doing Right, so we we'll look at the phase in uh, phase difference, then we we'll look at the intensity, and finally look at interference. So two uh, waves are said to be in the same phase if the accretes or the troughs are aligned. So meaning, if you have maybe the first wave is uh, moving like this. Then you also have maybe another wave, which for instance maybe might be, let me say, it's coming from here maybe. Okay, I don't know how I can draw it, but let me just show you a, a quick sketch. Yeah, so if you have two uh, waves which have, um, if, if there is a separation between the crease and traps of the wave, uh, the waves are said to be to have a phase difference in short okay so this is what is meant so we said two of uh, crests if two two crests and a troughs are aligned we say those two waves are in the same phase they or they are in phase but if there is a difference between two um between uh, if, there are if there's a difference between two crests, if you have a difference between two crests or two troughs, then you can say the wave is, uh, or the two waves are in phase difference, or they, or, or they have a phase difference in short. Yeah, so there's a formula that is used for phase difference. I've just remembered and I forgot to put it in. Okay, but. Uh, either way you can search it on Google, it's there, it's a straightforward thing, it's not something that is complicated to use. Alright, so uh, let's also look at what is known as intensity. So the intensity is just the rate at which energy is transferred per unit area. So intensity, according to the definition there, intensity uh, written using capital letter R, yeah, it, this is just simply the 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 what is the energy that is transferred per unit area. So this is a uh, power divided by uh, the area. So power divided by the area is called intensity, which is just P over A. So meaning power can also be written in terms of intensity and area, which is just I A. These are uh, very important uh, uh, formulas to note. Alright, so let's quickly move on. So this is what I'm just talking about. So this lecture is quite uh, short because uh, it's it's just summarizing uh, waves in short. Yeah, it's just summarizing waves. Uh, so from this uh, topic, we're going to do uh, the tutorial sheet. On, that is on Wednesday. We'll do the tutorial sheet and then after doing the tutorial sheet, we'll proceed by looking at sound waves. Okay, so properties of waves. So the following are some of the properties of waves. Okay, so a wave can be reflected. And by the way, I should note there's a difference between properties of a wave and characteristics of a wave. So when we talk about characteristics of waves, we, we are simply referring to the period, amplitude, and all those things. But if we talk about properties, we talk about um, what waves are capable of doing if they meet a barrier or anything that is there to alter them or to change them. So we know to say waves can go or rather they can undergo what is called refraction. So refraction is simply just um, the bending of a wave. Uh, when it passes through a certain media yeah so what that means for instance in the in, in the oasis if we're talking about waves or uh, light waves in short 
uh, if you can have a wave coming from this side yeah you can have a wave that is maybe coming from this side but as it meets a barrier there you discover that it changes it goes like that so this is called refraction then we also have what is known as reflection so reflection is not something that i should even take time to explain we have if you, you can have a barrier there then a wave is coming from this side it's actually just a bouncing back over a wave when it meets a barrier yeah so you can research more about refraction and reflection though it will not be asked to say what is reflection or refraction yeah they might just maybe pick one or two formulas there and uh, and uh, examine you on that okay so from there there is also what is known as diffraction so diffraction this is just and this this one just describes the behavior of, uh, of a wave um, when it meets it meets something like a hole yeah maybe for instance a wave is going like this then it meets something like a hole how does it behave so that is what um, is known as diffraction and then apart from that we also have what is known as interference so this is the part where I want to explain a bit. So we have what is known as constructive and destructive interference. Okay, interference can be interference of waves of the same frequency and in phase is summarized by superposition principle. So when you talk about interference, there's what is known as constructive and destructive interference. So when you have two waves like this, they are in the same phase and they have the same frequency so if they are in the same phase like this one these two when you look at them they are in the same phase we said if two waves are in the same phase they um their crests should be aligned so when you look at this point and this point the distances from the main line there is the, is the same from there this distance is the same as that distance so these two waves are in the same phase and uh, they have the same frequency yeah so if they have the same frequency and then they are in the same phase their characteristic or and their interaction is in short can be uh, summarized by the superposition principle so when you uh, when these two waves meet if these two waves meet their resultant wave is just going to be found by adding these two waves when you add this distance and that distance to give you that distance yeah so that's what they mean and this is called constructive constructive interference interference this is called constructive interference then there's also what is known as destructive interference so i've explained all these notes so destructive interference imagine you have this wave and then this wave is more like exactly the opposite of this other wave. Wave A and wave B are opposite. Yeah, so where we have the on wave A we have the positive where we have the positive amplitude, here you have the negative amplitude. So when you add these two waves, you discover that they'll come up with what is Okay, there is the combination of these two waves results into a complete cancellation, meaning the wave will be cancelled. This will just be a straight line. So this is known as destructive interference. Yeah, so like I said, tonight's lesson is quite short. So next time when we meet, we'll look at the tutorial sheet. And that's the very important and sensitive part of your course. So make sure that you don't miss the next lecture that we're going to have. See you in the next lecture. Shalom.